Oh, it's the male. Good dog. Oh, it's our property tax bill. Mm. Did they raise our taxes? Like I need to ask. What are all these things? Like what? Jordan Valley Water District. I have no idea. Central Utah Water District. Aren't those water suppliers? What are they doing on our property tax bill? Why don't we pay for our water in our water bill? What this couple is learning is that part of their water bill is hidden in their taxes. It all starts back in November. You see, every election, candidates for elected office clamor for your vote by claiming they want to lower your taxes. Most also claim that if you vote for them, they'll reduce government spending. But a bill at the Utah legislature is testing these campaign promises. SB 151 would reduce the property tax you pay on your home or business to local water suppliers, called a water conservancy district. These property taxes are used to lower the price of water, especially for large landowners. Big government landowners like schools, municipal buildings, and universities pay no property taxes whatsoever, but often use large amounts of water outside on grass. By lowering the price of water, these property taxes encourage the wasting of water. Even if you conserve water, you still pay the same property tax bill, which simply isn't fair. These property taxes can be so high that many government water districts actually make more money collecting property taxes than they do from selling water. Can you imagine if other utilities like Questar and Rocky Mountain Power made more money collecting property taxes than from selling natural gas or electricity? Utah is unique in collecting these water taxes because surveys conducted across the 13 western United States show most western cities outside of Utah do not collect property taxes for water. Utah's unique water taxes lower the price of water and explain why Utah is the number one highest municipal water user in the United States. If we phased out these water taxes, it would be as if someone put $200 on your kitchen table and let you choose between putting it in your wallet or outside in your garden hose. We'll put it in our wallet. What's more, phasing out property taxes would avoid having to tax you to divert the Bear River. But SB 151 is stuck in a committee at the legislature, being held by Senator Margaret Dayton, who refuses to let the bill be debated or voted upon. Ask your legislator if they are ready to fulfill their campaign promise by lowering your taxes and voting yes on SB 151. Tell them you support phasing out property taxes for water. You can find out who your legislators are by visiting le.utah.gov and typing in your address in the taskbar. For more information, visit utahrivers.org.